Hey guys, this is Ellie from Technicality Speaking, and today I'm going to be talking a little bit about my 3D printer. Um, I've had it for a few years now. You guys, uh, some of you guys already know about how I got it with a little help from Joel Telling and Joseph Perusa. Shout out to you guys. Um, but I've been a part of the 3D printing community for a few years now, and I've noticed one thing about my printer is that uh, every winter, sort of, like in the fall, winter kind of weather when uh, my house temperature changes because it gets a little cooler down here in South Dakota, um, my printer actually, the prints kind of on the bottom, they peel up from the print bed a little bit, and so I figured, oh, there has to be some way to regulate the temperature change, so I asked uh, Joel Telling for some of his ideas, and uh, after talking with him a little bit, we finally came up with the idea to build an enclosure for my 3D printer that should regulate the temperature a little bit more out of cardboard and flex tape and plexiglass and uh, make do cardboard fasteners. And so, this is what that video is about. printing enclosure turned out you guys it ended up looking really cool and uh, as you can notice it doesn't really have a top on it but I don't want it to turn into an oven necessarily if you know what I'm talking about um because it would get so hot in there if it had a top then it would mess things up uh, it would damage the servos maybe and make things a little bit too melty so uh, we're just gonna leave that top off for now and then hopefully that will just leave it at the 15 degree kind of temperature mark that we're looking for and uh 
then that way it'll print a lot better and hopefully not damage anything in the process. So during the winter time I will do more testing just to make sure that it's in the right range for regulating the temperature at around that 15 degrees that I'm looking for. But because it's still August, it's a little bit early to do that. So I will give you updates during the winter time, don't worry. And that way we'll be able to see if it turns out well. So thank you guys for watching. I just want to show you how it looks so far, which is pretty awesome. And uh, hope you enjoyed my video. Be sure to subscribe and add a like to this video if you liked it, um, obviously. Also, be sure to turn on the notifications if you want to find out when other videos are coming out. And uh, thanks for watching. Have a nice day.